All right, let's talk football. And today we're talking about the college football national championship featuring the Georgia Bulldogs at 13-1 and and the Alabama Christian Todd at 13-1. and I honestly believe that this is going to be a great matchup. And it's not going to be like the first time that came around. I felt like Georgia was a bit too cocky when they came to the first game. And now against this next game that they're playing now, of course, now the championship, they're ready. They know what they've got to do. They know how to shut them down. You know, I feel like this is going to be their chance to win the national championship against Alabama. Obviously, they should have won it back in 2018. But, you know, they were being nutty. And, you know, they let, who was it, Devontae Smith get that touchdown. Anyways, we're past that now. Now it's time for now. Okay? This defense is top tier. It's an elite defense, all right? It's, an, it's a, one of the defenses that, you know, over the last decade, it's like a top five, top ten elite defense. And it has a pretty steady offense that's led by the run game and the game manager, my boy, Stetson Bennett. So, with that being said, you already know who I'm going with this. I don't like Alabama that much. And Georgia got the spread. They got the money line. They got the um the, the predictions. Like like if this game was played like a hundred times, like sixty percent of the time, like um Georgia will win this game. So I'm leaning towards Georgia. I'm praying and hoping that Georgia wins. I like their defense. I like the players that they got. I'm a huge Stitz and Bennett fan. You know, from a walk-on to a national championship, I think that's totally crazy. I wish they would have undefeated this year. That would have made it even much more better. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, though, give me the Bulldogs because of what this defense brings straight to the table. This defense only allows nine points a game. This defense only allows 260 yards allowed. Only 81 yards on the ground and 172 yards passing that is elite that's elite on both sides running and passing they shut it down and their offense is not that it's not that far total wise from alabama alabama's offense is probably a tier a tier higher but it's not like a crazy amount like like the lsu 2019 they're not like that type of offense you know they're they're a good quality offense that you know gets points when needed to as you've seen throughout the season they're not like that they're not like the team they had last year when they were just blowing people out because you know they had you know smith um waddle you know jones you know everybody in the backfield harris you know they had all them guys which were like first rounders or like yeah all first rounders actually all first rounders i think yeah, I think all first rounders, like literally, they left. You know, it's not that same type of firepower that they got. But, you know, they still got the Heisman this year. But he's not. Bryce Young, he's a good guy, cool cat. You know, he's great pocket awareness. He's very, very accurate. He can do it all. He's just not that guy. Well, he's not that guy yet. And I don't think that this defense that they have, their Alabama defense is not like one like they usually have in the past. And with that being said, Maybe maybe Georgia can expose some things like they did in the first time. First game, they had, like, 24 points. And I feel like, you know, coming through and now going to this game, they know exactly what they need to do now, and they're going to start exposing some things. Alabama has been losing players left and right. Like, Alabama is not even going to be with, with Mechie this game. So that's, you know, they're literally going to just say – all hands on deck to stop Jamison Williamson. They're going to try to get that boy to be as invisible as possible on that field. Whether it's going to be Kendricks, whether it's going to be Ringo, whether it's going to be whoever they put on, on out there on him, they're going to be out there on him like glue to paper. I guess that makes sense. But anyways, that's exactly how it's going to be like. You know, I feel like Georgia's ready. Georgia wants it. It's literally now or never. Then, like this is like, this this is like this is yeah, this is like a national championship. But this is like, I don't even know. This is like this is the, this is like the end all be all for them. This is like it's not a championship, but this is like this is their road to glory. Like if they lose this game, like. I don't even want to just know. Like, I feel like everything that Georgia has been building up for years is going to just like just crumble after they, if they don't win this game. Because literally, this is literally their best shot. And frankly, I think some people, some fans, might be getting annoyed at this point that they haven't done so much better than what like the talent they've been put on the field. So, anyways, give me Georgia final score. Give me thirty-seven to eight, Georgia. Big blowout. Fuck them. Go Bulldogs. Woo!